In this video, we're going to look at a phenomenon that occurs in the coronary vessels, which is called coronary arterial ectasia. As opposed to an aneurysm, coronary arterial ectasia is defined as a contiguous segment of dilatation involving a coronary vessel. This is a rendered image of the coronary vessels and to familiarize yourself this is the right coronary artery which is quite large in caliber and extends through to the posterior descending artery and you can see that there is a caliber drop compared with the adjacent vessels and according to the usually accepted definition uh, caliber change of more than 150% or 1.5 times the adjacent caliber is sufficient to classify as ectasia. As opposed to a focal aneurysm or other form, this segment should involve at least 50% or more than the length of the coronary artery. Coronary arterial ectasia can often be present and reported in approximately 5% of angiographic studies and in most patients this is due to atherosclerosis uh, while in some instances this can be associated with certain congenital conditions. References containing important links have been pasted below.